what's up everyone welcome back to another video and this video i'm going to talk about how to fix the command prompt is not working or opening on your windows and how we can fix this app so right now over here as you can see if you're having some kind of trouble whenever you're trying to download the command prompt there might be many issues but you're not able to run any kind of command over here on your prompt so how we can completely fix this up and that's what we are going to talk about in this video and i'm going to demonstrate you how we can completely fix this up so right now if you wanted to completely fix this up just follow these instructions and the first and foremost step is all about we just need to go over here search for the task manager and we have to click on this one and go over here expand this up and what we need to do is we just need to search here for over here you can search for windows command over here and if you find anything over here on the windows command process you can just select the respective one and remove it and also make sure the command prompt should not be running over here and if you find this as well you can just select the respective one and go for end the task as well and remove it so if you don't find it nothing to worry you can skip this part and move to the next step next step is all about what we need to do so we just need to go over here search for the cmd and try running it as an administrator so most probably it will be working fine like this so if that is not the case you can move to the next one then just go over here in the desktop right click on this one and directly go for new and create a shortcut and right now they're going to ask you what you have to create so what we need to do is just need to type cmd.exe that's what you have to try and now go for next and right now what we need to do is go over here you can type here once again cmd.exe and you can go for finish and right now it will be created over here and right now what we need to do is once you create it you can right click on this one and you can go for the properties over here and you can just go over here and navigate to the properties and go for advanced over here and also you can just click on this one run this program as administrator and go for ok and apply and go for ok and you can see most probably you can try and that is also going to fix the issue up as well next one is all about you just go over here search for the run and you have to click on this one and this time we have to type over here just go over here and click on this one just search over here for the run command and now we need to click on this one and we need to type over here sys dm.cpl and press enter that's going to take you to this and navigate to the advanced and right now what we need to do is if you find over here okay, go over here for the environment variables and right now what we need to do is we just need to go over here you can see a few there are few path and what we need to do is we just need to go over here to edit and right now we need to add the path or you can just go over here you can add bit by yourself so i'm going to select the path over here whatever the path you wanted to create or you can just go for the new and they are asking to add a new path or you can just select the path and you can add it so both are fine you can directly go for edit as well so we wanted to add the location so what i'm going to do just go over here in the file explorer navigate to this pc go to local c scroll down and navigate to windows and scroll down over here and you can scroll down and navigate to one thing called sys w o w 64 select this one and right now what we need to do is we just need to go over here copy this particular path at the top like this copy this path and you have to close this and to go over here edit or you can create a new one over here and this time you can give the variable name whatever you wanted to for example cmd whatever you wanted to and the browse file can be over here and you can copy this and you can just paste this so that it will be selected easily and go for open and you can just go over here and you can open it as well and once you go over here and you can open it and you can add the respective one over here so the path will be available over here once the path is created and added here you just need to close everything over here and you have to do a restart on your system just go over here do a restart after the restart most probably this will be completely fixed and these are the steps and also simple if still if it's not working we just need to go over here search for the control panel over here you can click on the control panel and right now what we need to do is just go over system and security we have to go for the system and right now we need to go over here and you can just click on system protection and right now what we need to do is we can see there is an option called system restore you can just click on the system restore which means you are going to set a time in order to restart uh, restore the system unless and until the cmd is working so you can do this and most probably afterwards you have to check and these steps is going to help you guys how to fix the issue and i hope this video is helpful that's it bye bye